Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 39-inch Funai LED TV. Here the complaint is with the power supply board. Due to lightning. This power supply board is not repairable and for replacement now this power supply board is not available in the market. Instead of this original power supply board here we replaced it with a alternate power supply board taken from the Sansui 40 inch LED TV. After installing the alternate power supply board here we wired the connections as per as the original power supply board. See friends, according to the default power supply board, here we wired all connections. See, here we connected all wires according to the default power supply board. You can see. From this alternate Sansui power supply board, here we connected 12 volt, 5 volt, BL on all connections in the order of default power supply board. Here you can see the order in the default power supply board. See friends, now all connections are done. Here we also connected the LED backlight. See, the backlights are also connected. Now let's power on the TV and check whether the TV is working or not. See friends, now the TV is turned on. Here you can see the red light. Now the TV is released from the standby. See friends, now the picture comes and the TV is working properly. See, this means that this power supply is working. So the next step is to fix this power supply board properly in this TV while installing the alternate power supply board. We should be very careful. We should connect each voltages according to the order of connection diagram in this default power supply board. Finally, see friends, now we fixed the power supply board properly in this TV. Here you can see there is only one hole is there for screwing the power supply board. So rest of the area here we locked the power supply board using wires and below the power supply board here we fixed a thermal sheet here now all wires are fixed properly using double side tape now before putting the back cover let's turn on the TV again and check the picture here you can see the red light indicator now the TV is released from the standby this means that now we can put the back cover and screws back to TV so see friends here we successfully replaced the default power supply board with this alternate power supply board successfully now the TV is working properly this is the old power supply board so instead of this power supply board here we connected this alternate power supply board so now the TV is repaired successfully here 
here we connected all sockets according to the order of the default motherboard in this TV from the alternate power supply board finally see friends here is the output now the TV is prepared successfully so hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications thanks for watching